Hey, what's going on traders? Happy Thursday. I hope you guys have all been enjoying your day today, but I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know exactly how my trading went. So let's jump right into it. And so as you guys can see, it was another big red day on my account overall yet again, right? So down over $400 on the day. Um, a big reason for that was Tesla, right? Was down $273 for me because of the fact that it ended up dying yesterday at market close, right? Due to the earnings report. But other than that, right, in terms of how I did trading wise, um, I traded SQs and TQs today. I lost $193 on SQs and I was up $161 on TQs. So overall, I finished down about $32 on the day. So although it wasn't a green day, I was, you know, I am happy that I was able to manage my risk, but definitely made a lot of mistakes today. And, you know, there was no reason I shouldn't have ended green. So I'm going to go ahead and recap my trades with you guys. But as you guys can see too, I actually ended up buying some Tesla, right, uh, near market close at 11.30 actually, right? I picked up nine more shares and I'll go ahead and explain to you guys exactly why I did that. But as far as how I, it went trading wise for me, right? So today I really fumbled the bag and the main reason why I think that is the same pattern that ended up happening yesterday for the most part ended up happening today and I wasn't able you know, to learn from my lesson today. So as you guys saw, what ended up happening is yesterday is the market ended up finding a bottom, right? And we ended up changing direction and we're uptrending all day, right? And I was pretty much just being the idiot trying to predict when it would fall right and trying to get into SQs when I really should have just gone with the change of direction right rather than dig myself in a huge hole because I did lose you know quite a bit yesterday and so heading into today almost the same thing happened right we ended up uh, market open finding you know a bounce right a support off the previous bounce that we had and what actually ended up happening the whole day we ended up changing direction right and I got burned trying to predict when we were going to end up pulling back but as you guys can see Right, we ended up as soon as market opened, right? This thing was falling during the pre market. It found it validated the support it was having and started to change direction, right? We saw lots of momentum push this thing up. I initially got into TQQQ, made some money on the way up, right? Only about like 50 bucks, something like that. But once it started to pull back, I kept trying to predict when this thing would end up pulling on back the way it did yesterday. So, as you guys can see, you know, pretty much yesterday, let me go ahead and show you guys what I mean exactly, right? So once it ended up pushing up and had a nice surge above, um, break above the middle VWAP, right? We ended up correcting ourselves back and pulling on back before we eventually made a new high, right? Today, I thought we were gonna end up pushing up, become overextended, pull on back, right? Same way like we did yesterday before we continue to push up. And that's why I decided to get into SQQQ, but you know, Although that worked out yesterday, that didn't end up happening today. So I got burned, right? Riding this thing up, had to cut losses. But the beautiful part about today is rather than be ignorant, right? And tr continue trying to predict when this thing would finally fall like it did, right? It would have been nice if I was doing that here. I would have been able to make a decent amount of money rather than lose it on the way up. But once it did pull on back and start to validate, you know, a higher high, I continued to go with the flow and I was able to recover a lot of my loss right on TQQQ or that I made on SQs a lot of the loss but I recovered it getting into TQQQ riding this thing on the way up as it became overextended right right around this area is when I stopped trading that's when my final trade was at and I ended up cutting all of my TQQQ right so I am glad that I was able to start to actually make money on the way up right and recover the loss that I had today but there was plenty of opportunity you know just um, looking at it how it performed yesterday there was definitely no denying that there could have been a bounce here and I should have been more you know focused on going with direction rather than trying to predict when this thing was going to eventually pull back right so that's definitely the mistake I made today and I hope you guys all learned from it as well but I also did want to talk about Tesla right as you guys can see it was down quite a bit today so down almost 10 percent on the day right and on the bigger time frames, right, even just the past 20 days, you guys can see that it's had quite a nice dip. So we actually touched 160, right, practically and are now starting to bounce a bit. But I decided to buy more shares today because overall, long term wise, right, I see lots of value in Tesla. And I think at these levels, you know, it's definitely a pretty good deal. I would obviously never recommend you guys invest in anything just because I'm in it. But 
I see lots of potential in this company. I'm super bullish on Tesla. I think Elon is a very good you know, CEO for the company and I think he just has lots of long-term visions for the company that will um, you know, cause the stock itself to end up And I just think he has, you know, like a long. And I just think he has really good long term visions for the company that can ultimately, you know, help it succeed and really stand out and dominate the market. But that's just really my two cents in my opinion. Right. And that none of that really matters to you guys. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. We have tomorrow to finish off trading. Right. So if you guys have not been having the best week like me. Let's head into tomorrow with the goal of making sure if we're red, we're managing that risk, right? Let's not have a disastrous day tomorrow heading into the weekend. And on top of that, let's just try to buy in when it makes sense, right? And sell and not and sell when it makes sense and not get greedy, right? And just lock in that profit. But that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys so much for your time. It really means a lot. But other than that, I will be posting my recap tomorrow and I will see you guys then. Take care.